Hello, today I will show you how how I make little cute little patterns with Distress Oxide inks. These are by Tim Holtz, Distress Oxides. They are, for my purposes, they're way better than any other inks I've used before. I love using them. Uh, I love Distress inks by Tim Holtz, but um, the Oxide gives you more chalky feel. It also overlaps much easier and you can actually stamp on dark surfaces and still get a light image. So I really like that too and I'll show you that in other videos but this video here I'll show you how to make little prints like this. Um, you can put them in a Bible, in a journal, and on the cards and just make images like that. So um, I'm gonna have a couple colors here. I'll use the blue and the red and for the red I'll just take the little um, foamy dubber and go around and just cover this to make it red. You could also just flip this over and go straight on it, but then what we would have to do is smooth out the edges so that you don't have those harsh edges. So you do put more um, pigment that way. There you go. Now close that. And let's say I would like to add a butterfly design. Now this is a uh, foam stamp that I made myself, which I can show you how it's made in another video. Uh, basically, I used some sticky foam and uh, sticky back foam. And um, a leftover from a box that I was going to throw out, but it came out to be a nice sim. So we'll use that, we'll ink that right now. And this will give me a nice pattern. And I'm not really worried about if I see the butterflies or not. I just want those nice little patterns. It's got some intricate detail in here. That's all I want. It's going to all show up uh, very subtle anyway. So it doesn't matter. And you can put this in the Bible or for Bible journaling, for people who love Bible journaling, uh, or in a little piece of paper like that. Or on a bigger piece of paper I'll just use the little index card and turn it around I use this side here and just make sure you press Press real well. And there you go. Now that can be cut out nicely and applied to a card. You can make a bookmark out of it. There's plenty of things you can do with it. And I still have actually two more to go. First of all, I haven't used the second half just yet. So I'll use that right here. Nice little print. You can make design around it. And believe it or not, there's still lots of ink left in here, so I can still use it and create more. Let's see, I put it on this one right here. It's called a second generation print. It's still very pretty, it's much more subtle. I can show you how to make this card next time. But there's actually more ink left. You can wipe it clean, wash it, or use the baby wipes to wash it, or you can actually um, put more pigment in there, put more oxide, distress oxide inks, and uh, create new patterns and new backgrounds. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how I did because this is my very first video and I would like to hear some feedback and make more videos that would be actually interesting for you guys to watch. Thank you.